Hello guys, uh, welcome, welcome uh, to the Grand Finals of Go For What Europe 230. Um, we're gonna see the match between Free Hunt and Cyber Factory FSB. It would be nice if it was FSB. Um, should be a fun fun match to watch. Uh, it is the finals though, so it's a best of five. Uh, first map will be Lakewell and the first team to defend is Free Hunt. You can see two more spectators, uh, Polish Polish casters. Um, uh, we're gonna see uh, Freehunt uh, playing basically the same setup they did the last time, except well, not except this is the same setup. Uh, free is freeze, one T32, and two lightweights, uh, T37. And uh, for the cyborgs, we see uh, two ice threes, uh, three lightweights, 3090, and MT25. So this 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 will be a nice match. Uh, we're gonna see some initial spots. They're moving the, uh, their heavies back already, and the 3090 also. They're probably gonna try and take the middle with that 3090. MT, uh, MT25 is going to try and spot someone here. He's going for the bush, or no, he's not. He's gonna. Oh, this is this is a really really offensive. Kochichka is going to go down here, or not? Oh, he's safe, but his 39 is gonna have him. Oh, he's dead. MT25 actually survives, and he's spotting this lightweight up here. But he didn't receive any damage, they were trying to shoot him now, but it's kind of too late. He pulled back already. And the heavies are... Um, heavies are where the heavies are, usually. Uh, we see cyborgs putting... Cyber Factory putting their heavies on the middle. This should be fun. They're probably going to push with lights to uh, the cap number one. But I don't want to say something in later on to be uh, like called a, a stupid cast you don't know what people are doing but shut up and let the people play Allah oh. they'll be back um, MT25 is just strolling around he <laughs> doesn't care <laughs> he's gonna stay in this bush and see if the lightweights are here but they know they probably know the lightweights are going to watch this area, and we'll see how much damage they can do. Only track towards Hon. And the lightweights will push through. Now, these ice threes have to go forward. MT25 is going to provide the spotting for them, because ice threes don't have a, a large uh, view range. A great view range, sorry. Koss, Koss going out T32. But they're not focusing him, they're focusing Merc. I don't know why Koss should be... A prime target here, in my opinion, because it's a T32 and it can play hold down here. It's a really nice position for him. And these lightweights for for free hunt are just they don't care. They're alive, full HP, and that's it. But everlast, oh, everlast, everlast. So low in HP. He's basically one shot. And these ice freeze in the middle are going to come closer and, and a dude should do. A lot of damage. Murky can't come close. Uh, Snorf uh, also. They're going to fight these ice trees here. And uh, oof, Cyborg Factory actually not doing that well. But now they they managed to do a lot of damage on this T32. 390 is still made, uh, pressuring Korotka, shooting another. T but yeah, only 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 managing to get him down to 20 HP. They didn't finish him. Now they did finally. T32 is down. And now this cap is only defended by two lightweights and an IS-3 that basically one shot. Ungi, uh, he can't finish him off. Uh, Everlast is down. Uh, they managed to pick off one light, uh, Hon, but they that won't do much of a difference. Uh, oof, nice, nice shot back. But yep, Nezaton is going to fall. Oh, he managed to repair and he's pulling back. But the, the lights from uh, Cyber Factory are moving forward. 
we're, we're gonna see some pot shots into these tanks here from Ferdinand. He's trying to snapshot that that lightweight. He finally manages to take him out. Uh, eh, the another lightweight falls, and it's just two IS threes. They're gonna get shot from both sides. This is mission impossible, and this should be a win for Cyber Factory in the first game on Lakewell. Nice, nice attack. Really, really nice done. Um, Maybe Snowfrev, uh, he won't be able to bring Turi to the grave with him, but yeah, pretty convincing win, 7-2, uh, to two. Uh, lost two tanks in this, uh, pretty pretty nicely done. Uh, heavy's being put on middle and lightweights, light tanks going around. Nezatong doing a lot of work there, but just wasn't enough. Uh, T32 died pretty pretty easily. T37 wasn't there to help uh, to help out, and those ice freeze really stopped uh, stopped a lot of tanks from uh, from free hunt and GG GG by Cyber Factory really 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 nicely nicely played. Um, as we all know, best of five, so we. Cyber Factory will have uh, the attack two times and then they are switching sides. Free Hunt is going to be attacking team after this game. We'll see if Free Hunt can uh, win this second game in tight 1-1, uh, but uh, they didn't look that convincing in the last game. They just fell to Cyborg Factory's aggression and they, they didn't respond. They just didn't have that response for those two ice freeze in the middle and that cost them the game in my opinion. Having two two light tanks and a T-32 fighting against four light tanks isn't really a good thing. <laughs> you don't you don't wanna have that. Especially with, with an auto loader like 3090. Pretty, pretty, pretty nice played by the 3090. He didn't bounce uh, many shots, and most of them were hit. As, uh, well, not the he tried snapshotting two times and missed, but the third time he actually did hit. But uh, yeah, it's it's a, not that easy to snapshot with 3090 these days. Uh, so it just. Uh, Every time he actually stood and aimed, he managed to have a direct hit and a penetration, which is really, really nice. You want to maximize your damage output, you only have those 6 shots. And we saw him bringing down the T-32 really, really low, another lightweight finished him off, and that's that's what helped them win the game. If that T-32 was alive uh, a bit longer than he was staying in the cover all the time, uh, that, that could have... Uh, prevented those lights from winning the the battle on that cap, uh, but by basically killing the 32 uh, <clears throat> Cyber Factory secured their win uh, with four lightweights against two. It was crazy. So pretty pretty nicely done by Cyborg Factory. Uh, we'll see if Free Hunt can can uh, tie. Tie the, the the round. Tie the score, sorry, by winning the round. Um, a completely different setup now uh, for Cyber Factory. They have four ice threes, two lightweights. So pretty, pretty uh, different than the last game. We're gonna see something else entirely played now. Um, We'll see, we'll see what Free Hunt will do. They are basically doing the same thing as in the last game, it seems. Um, there's a push here into town. Um, really, really interesting. Han staying here for, for that support. MT-25 is going to do the same thing, but the Ice Freeze are pushing. They're pushing that zero line. This is this is actually something we haven't seen. This, oh, cost dying almost instantly. Like they were all looking there 
and those ice trees just annihilated him as soon as he got spotted by that MT-25. Um, they are shooting at the, at the MT-25, but they, they didn't land any shots at those lights. And he will... Oh, this is this is really really bad for for free hunt like those lightweights are on the other side and they're pinging that other side like they're probably expecting something here but yeah see they're they're pinging there and a cyber uh, factory is just pushing pushing down the zero line and now they will get spotted oh not that good of a focus fire, they managed to, to land uh, 3 shots though, it's not, not that bad. Um, it's not for him, he's isolated here, he's going to go down. Pretty bad shooting I'd say from... Uh, from... Oh, Karotka getting shot. Pretty pretty bad shooting from, from the free hunt team. Uh, MT-25 is giving them a lot of problems here, and this is going to be a straight out, a straight uh, shootout. But <sighs> one heavy more, and the tier six uh, with them, uh, it's going to be a huge advantage. Oh, nice shots toward the Murky. Murky is really, really low. He can't go out now. Everlast, I think, is going to be the next target for those. Big IS-3 guns uh, or the lightweight lightweights down there. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. But this MT-25 is giving them a lot, a lot of problems. Like lightweights are coming around. They're going to deal with these lightweights from Free Hunt and Cyber Factory are looking really, really good again on the attack. Their the score is 2-0, and I don't see anyone from Cyber Factory dying anytime soon. Turi is in the is in a bad position here. He did take out, uh, go out probably just to take as much damage as he can. So there, these heavies won't focus down the lights. But yeah, this this is looking to be a seven zero victory. Pretty pretty dominating performance by Cyber Factory. That MT25 did a lot of lot of work for them. I just it was pretty annoying the whole game. I think he did like almost 1k damage this game. It was pretty, pretty, pretty nice play by Harib. Yeah, 750 damage is just. It, it was annoying. It was really annoying. And as I said, 7 0, pretty convincing. We saw uh, Free Hunt didn't have response. Like, as, you, as soon as you saw like 4 heavies, you can't expect them to do the same thing. Like, it's not. Different tanks, they're going to do something else, but uh, the ice free being isolated there really. Snofrev was alone and they just killed him without losing anything basically. And after that, it was just a, just a slaughter. Um, so, yeah, uh, congrats for the second win to 